Well, court documents reveal new details about the man accused of killing Audrey Cunningham. Stephen McDougall is charged with capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. Her body was recovered in the Trinity River after a five-day search. Detectives say McDougall lived in a trailer behind the girl's home. He was supposed to take her to the school bus stop Thursday morning. KPRC2's Corley Peel is live outside the Polk County Judicial Center where McDougall is being held without bond. And Corley, you're going to tell us what the documents reveal and why loved ones say this tragedy should have never happened. Yeah, according to that warrant, Audrey Cunningham's body was found tied to a rock in the Trinity River. And investigators say that rope that was used was also found in McDougal's SUV. Investigators say he's also accused of lying about where he was the day that Audrey disappeared. And I spoke with loved ones who feel he should have never had the opportunity to be around the 11 year old girl. Stephen McDougal is no stranger to jail. His latest capital murder charge, just another addition to his long list of crimes. I feel like this could have been prevented. Rebecca Attaway is best friends with Audrey Cunningham's mother. She was shocked to learn about her accused killer's conviction in Brazoria County in 2007. In that case, documents revealed he attempted to engage in sexual contact with a girl under the age of 17. He was accused of removing the girl's undergarments. The documents clearly state that he was basically doing things to an underage child that is against the law. However, he didn't complete the actual sexual act. Therefore, the original charge was attempted indecency with a child, then it was pled out to enticing a child. And that is actually a class A misdemeanor. However, it can be enhanced to a felony if there is attempt to arouse sexual gratification, which is what happened in this case. According to Texas law, enticing of a child means someone who interferes with custody of a child. Based on the nature of the crime, many have this question. How come he isn't registered? Why isn't he on the sex offender registry? Andy Kahn with Crime Stopper says he plans to meet with state senators and representatives, specifically in Polk County, to change that law. We're going to add this on the list of offenses that will register as a sex offender in the state of Texas. Mark my words, it will get brought up, it will get passed, and we're, if, you know, and if so be it, I will name the new law after the 11 year old girl. I think that if any uh, crimes against children, there should be a registry for that. And Audrey's loved ones tell me that she had a smile that could light up a room and she will be dearly missed and they want to honor her in the best way. Now at this time, it's unclear how the 11 year old girl died. Her cause of death has not been determined. That will be up to the medical examiner once that autopsy is finished. And we, of course, will keep you updated about this case as soon as we learn more information. Reporting live from Polk County, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.